Now, if you didn't know, I have eight aquariums. It could be plugged into your car somewhere. Another game changer. This is three weeks of sitting without using it. This entire aquarium will be out. This is going to give you peace of mind for your aquariums, guys. Aloha, my ohana, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time checking out the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. Now, if you haven't noticed, this channel is all about aquatics, whether it be indoor or outdoor, koi and goldfish ponds, aquariums, freshwater, saltwater, doing fish door tours, and DIY projects in the hobby. Now, if you didn't know, I have eight aquariums and one in the making, which is my saltwater aquarium. We're about ready to get that saltwater aquarium up and running. Stay tuned, all right? And if you haven't subscribed, this is the perfect opportunity to hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video, and then you'll be caught up on everything that I post. The construction of Tiki Falls 4.0, which you definitely don't wanna miss this because when this is done, it's gonna be about 5,000 gallons a beautiful koi and goldfish pond which I'm gonna put all of my koi in this once I finish it but right now the weather is horrible it's raining so it's really hard to even get started on this bad boy I know I keep saying oh stay tuned stay tuned but seriously stay tuned all right my ohana so I'm super excited to jump into this video because I'm gonna introduce to you another game changer in our hobby for those of you that don't know I actually teamed up with Hyger Hyger is only like the world's largest brand name for aquarium products they have everything for the hobby guys low price high quality and I wouldn't be talking about them if I wasn't a firm believer in Hyger not only did they sponsor this video but I truly truly use their products great quality like I said now you guys may recognize something like this do you guys know this product here this is a portable aerator now I use these a lot when I do fish rescues I go get fish I put this in my bucket the little aerator goes down in there it keeps the fish comfortable on the journey from point A to point B now I got this from my big box store which was PetSmart this is a top fin brand and you know for the most part it did a great job I never had any problems with it sometimes the battery gets a little loopy with the connection but other than that though I mean you buy two D batteries and um, you know it's an aerator and it helps you know it just makes everything go smoother now I don't know if you guys know this is it me or like batteries just super expensive it's like I don't know a six pack of D batteries is like I don't know a hundred and four dollars oh my god what the hell's going on here I noticed two things that are super expensive in the store it's batteries and beef jerky I mean a little bag of beef jerky is like nine dollars I'm like the hell's going on here I mean I gotta like you know apply for a loan you know but Hyger came through for you guys this product right here this is an AQQA now the company is named I want to say it's aqua that's how it's pronounced but it's spelled AQQA now Hyger owns this company too and I'll have all of their links down in the description of this video okay this product here game changer rechargeable lithium battery for an aerator now they have three different sizes they have a 1.7 watt a 2.5 watt and a 5.0 watt each for different rates of aquariums now the lowest one that they have is a 1.7 watt this is this little bad boy here and it's good for up to 100 gallons yeah it can aerate 100 gallons of water and then I have the 1.7 watt, which can go up to 140 gallons. And then they have a 5.0, which is geared towards 160 gallons. Insane. I'm telling you guys, this is a game changer for our hobby. Let's get into the specs of this. So here are the two different columns. Here's the first column. This is for the 1.7 watt, all of its specs. And this column here is for the 2.5 watts. Now you can see everything from the airflow, the sound, the pressure, the depth, the cord length is uh, two and a half feet. Uh, the application, as you can see, for the 1.7 watt is up to 100 gallons, and the 2.5 watt is up to 140 gallons. Now, this is super important here on the hours. So, if you have it on continuous run, the 1.7 will run from 14 hours to 18 hours, and the 2.5 will run. 12 to 16 hours now if you have it on intermittent which i love it'll run a lot longer so on the intermittent it'll run 10 seconds turn off for 10 seconds and then turn back on for 10 seconds and it'll do that for 25 to 28 hours for the 1.7 and for the 2.5 is 20 to 22 hours 
Oh, don't worry. We're going to test everything too, guys. You guys are absolutely going to love this. So let's open this up and check it out. All right. As we open the box, it comes with the manual, which I suggest you all read. Put that on the side. And we have the actual unit. Here is the air pump. Let me take this out of this plastic sleeve. All right. Put that on the side. Look how sleek it looks. I love the way it looks. Black. It's kind of a polished black. It's got this little hanger here so you can hook it on to maybe the side of the aquarium or a bucket. And it also has these little rubber feet to help reduce noise, vibration. So if, as it sits on your aquarium, on your lid, or you know somewhere secure, like maybe on top of you know a hang on the back filter, something like that. Anyways, I love it. This one here is the 2.5 watt. So it actually comes with two airline hoses, which is really cool. Yep, and this is the charging port right here. As you can see, you just lift that up and it comes with everything, guys. Let's check it out, let's check it out. So in the box, like I said, it comes with everything. So you got, ooh, you got air stones. Oh, there they are. You got two air stones here. Two air stones, we'll just set right there. And you have your airline tubing, which is about three and a half feet worth of airline tubing. Yeah, which is super long. And I love that about it. So here's your airline tubing. We'll just sit there. It comes with your charger too as well. Here's your charger plug. Let's crack this bad boy open. Ugh, there we go. And um, that's your outlet plug. And then you have the charger that plugs into the USB in the back here. And you can use this two different ways. This is the game changing part that I love about this unit, okay? So if you are, let's say in your car, and you know a lot of days the cars have USB ports, you can plug this in to your USB port in your car, and then you plug this into the unit like that. You can plug this into your port anywhere, USB port in your computer. It could be plugged into your car somewhere, and you can actually run this aerator in the car too. If you have fish that you're transporting, right here, airline hose, pretty easy. Just hooks there, put the airline or the air stone on the other end, and you got it all pimped out. Now this thing comes already charged. So as you press the power button here, once you can see the blue lights come on, it comes with a pretty high charge already. Even though it does come with a charge right out of the box, I do suggest to give it a charge. Super simple to charge this bad boy up. And I'm gonna show you uh, a little video right now of me charging it. As you can see, the blue lights flash. It's letting you know when it's gonna be fully charged. And then you can see when each bar glows, it's done charging. Like I said earlier, you can charge it by the USB port or you can charge, you can plug in the USB port into the wall unit and then plug this obviously into the wall and you can charge it that way now to charge this fully two and a half to three hours it took to charge this bad boy up when it was completely drained now i've had this thing for over a month and i charged two of them already i charged a 1.7 and a 2.5 and i charged them and let them sit probably for about two and a half almost three weeks and it still has the charge full which is really cool. So it does hold a charge pretty long. Now you can use this two separate ways and I'm gonna show you. This is the game changer part because there's so many uh, products out there like this, you know, but this is the game changer part about the AQQA rechargeable portable aerator. Let's go check it out. So I have the 1.75 and the 2.5 set up. Now, as you can see with the 1.75, which is geared up to 100 gallons, this thing can aerate. It comes with just one airline tube and you can see the 2.5 comes with two airline tubes and two air stones. I, got, I already got them all hooked up already. So like I said, it was super simple. You know, you just plug in your air stone, but this is the length. Look at the length of the airline that you get look at it runs all the way down past the aquarium which i measured it and it's about three and a half feet i just wanted to show you how long of a hose that they give you so you can actually cut it modify it you know make it suitable or custom for your needs but i'm going to use the full length because you just never know where you got to put this thing and where it's got to reach okay so let's go ahead and drop this down into the aquarium which we will put it right here and with the push of a button it's that easy, it comes on. Now, these have been sitting charged for about three weeks. And as you press the button, there it goes, it's on. And it still holds 
its full charge. This is three weeks of sitting without using it. And you see this little light here? That's the intermittent light. So if I use the intermittent mode, which we will use, you will see that light light up. So let's follow the tube. Let's go all the way down. And there are the bubbles coming out of the air stone. Looking mighty fine, right? Produce some nice bubbles. And like I said, this unit here, the 1.7, is good for 100 gallons. Now that top fin one that I have that I showed you earlier that takes the D batteries, that one can only aerate 30 gallons. This right here runs about $20. Now, the one that I got from PetSmart is about $10, but you gotta factor in those batteries and you know, the batteries don't last forever. Obviously, you gotta get new batteries. So with buying batteries and that aerator, you actually come out better with this rechargeable lithium battery, which will last a lot longer. And I will keep you guys updated on how long these things last, you know? It might be forever, because it's not like I'm using them every single day. You know, it's only when I transport fish, I gotta pick up fish, something comes up, I need something in an emergency. But listen, listen, listen to the sound. It's pretty quiet. I don't even have this wrapped up in a towel. Sometimes I would wrap the aerators in a towel, that way it won't, you know, the vibration, it kind of kills the noise. But this is just on the, the four rubber feet there. And I have it on top of the lid of my HOB title, powered by CJ, of course. Pretty damn quiet for a portable aerator. So let's go ahead and um, put in the dual socket 2.5. We have the dual aerators in here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, press this button. Boom, look at that, same thing. Full charge, it's been sitting for about three weeks. Set that right there. You can hear the sound. Not that noisy, it's a little bit more stronger though. You definitely can hear the difference between the 1.7 and the 2.5, but it's not bad, honestly it isn't. And check out the amount of bubbles you get with the dual setting, huh? I wanted to show you guys the intermittent, okay? So if you hit this button one more time, you see that INT button will light up. Now this will be on for 10 seconds and then it'll shut off and then it'll come back on in 10 seconds, just like so. And it will do this, like I said, a lot longer. What was the hours, like 20 to 24 hours or something like that? It could last, there you go. Shut off for 10 seconds and then come back on for 10 seconds and it will continue that mode like I said, for the X amount of hours. Now this is the game changer part of this portable aerator, right? You can actually use it two different ways. You can use it without any plug, right? The rechargeable battery, the lithium battery, or you can use it with it being charged in. And this is the game changer part that I wanna show you. We're gonna just open up the plug here and we're gonna plug it in to the wall, which I'm actually gonna plug it down into the timer down there. You see the timer? I'm gonna plug it into that little slot there, okay? Check this out. Okay, so as you can see, I have the portable aerator set down a little bit lower because I need to reach the actual outlet, which I'm gonna plug this into that timer. You see how it's plugged in? We are good to go, and it's on because that also powers my lights. So as long as my aquarium lights are on, so is this pump. And you can actually see it blinking. You see that? That means that it's running straight from the wall. Now this is the cool part, all right? Oh, Hunter, you guys ready for this? Here we go. I'm gonna actually cut the power to the actual timer so no more electricity will be going into that. And guess what? This portable aerator will automatically kick in the battery backup and keep this running. So. As an example, this is the example I'm gonna give you, the scenario. Let's just say I'm out of town for the weekend and the power goes out in the house. Everything's gonna shut down in the aquarium, right? No light, no filters will be working, but guess what will be working? This aerator, and this will keep your fish alive. And then once the power goes in, it'll switch off of battery mode and will just be running from the electricity from the wall. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Here we go. You ready for this? There's a little switch right there on the other side that I'm gonna turn it off and boom. I just turned it off. You see the light is off in the aquarium, but not the aerators. Look at them go guys, game changer. 
So if this electricity went out on this aquarium, this entire aquarium will be out. Nothing will be filtering, but I know those aerators will kick in. Watch when I turn the light on, this will blink, meaning that it's in the electricity motor or it's running from the electricity. So let me go ahead and there you go. I click the light on, the light is blinking, showing that it's being ran from the electricity in the wall. This is another cool little game changer for you guys. Let's just say you turn this off. There's no back siphon. So you don't have to worry about the water coming back down and leaking out. Automatically will stop, which is super cool. I love that. That's why I wanted to put the unit lower, as you can see it down there, than the air stones. I wanted to show you that it does not create a siphon to come back down and start leaking from this part here of the base. This is gonna give you peace of mind for your aquariums, guys. And if you had one in every aquarium, that would be ideal. Now, I got a shout out to Hyger. Hyger, your boy has eight aquariums, actually nine to be exact, because I do have a saltwater aquarium in the making. So hook up your boy with a few more of these, all right? Because I definitely want more peace of mind for every single one of my aquariums, not just one or two. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, Ohana. Remember, if you guys have one of those portable aerators that take two D batteries, get rid of it, toss it away. Out with the old and in with the new. The AQQA Portable Rechargeable Lithium Aerator by Hyger. You guys gotta check it out. I'll have all the links down in the description below of this video. In my opinion, it's a must buy and every one of your aquariums should have one just as a backup. Now remember, you can use it two different ways. You can use the lithium rechargeable battery where you just set it on top, have the airline tubes running in there, or you can have it plugged in and it'll be running constantly. And if the power ever goes out, like if you're out of town for a day or a weekend, at least you know you have that peace of mind where that will kick in and you have battery backup for like 20 plus hours insane no-brainer like I said I'll have all of their links down in the description below of this video and go check them out go check out the site they have a lot of cool things not just like the portable lithium rechargeable aerators but they have everything for our hobby I had to freeze it up right now to let you guys know that when you check out after you're done ordering whatever you want from Higer type in promo code Ohana that's O-H-A-N-A and receive 10% off your entire order all right, don't forget, Ohana. Love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.